as you know, former Senator Russ Feingold has announced that he will be running again in Wisconsin to take back his old seat or the seat that he used to occupy from Senator Ron Johnson. Ron Johnson is sort of a Tea Party guy. He's a self-made millionaire, and by that I mean uh, he married a wealthy, um, a wealthy person and got a job with that uh, woman's father. Um, so he self-financed his election against Russ Feingold last time, and by that I mean he... Um, he spent $9 million on his campaign, and then after he won the election, the, uh, the company that his dad owns paid him $10 million. <laughs> wow. so, so this guy has a lot at stake when he perceives there is a plan afoot to demonize anybody involved in business. Because if his father-in-law was not involved in business, Ron Johnson would not be a wealthy man today. And so he was bemoaning, apparently, according to HuffPost, the evidence of propaganda that has been embedded to our culture. And how is it being embedded into our culture? Well, let's let this guy from Fox Business, back in 2014, Charlie Payne, reveal how this anti-business sentiment is being pumped into the brains of our children. Of Hollywood pushing its anti-business message to our kids. First it was the Muppets movie. Remember they used an oil baron as the enemy. A year later it was the Lorax casting environmentalists against anyone who dared to create a new business. And well now it's the Lego movie with the villain named President Business. Take a listen to him. Would you cancel my two o'clock? This next meeting could run a little bit deadly. <sighs> Looks a little bit like Mitt Romney. Joining us from Los Angeles is Rent Track senior media analyst Paul DeGarabedi. And Paul, uh, you know, listen, Hollywood has its own agenda and we're kind of used to this, but it feels, it feels a little bit more threatening when they start to push this out to our kids over and over. Oh, my God. Could you cancel my two o'clock movie a meeting? It may become deadly. Well, Ron Johnson's very upset about this whole Lego movie, apparently. And uh, he said, uh, that's done for a reason. They're starting that propaganda, and it's insidious. That Lego movie is two hours of, like, what, marketing for what, what, a business? I mean, (laughs) it's Lego is a business? Come on. Now, so HuffPost writes this, and this is the funniest part about this whole story. Then, on his Senate, his Senate website, Ron Johnson writes a screed about Huffington Post writing about Ron Johnson talking about how the Lego movie is propaganda. <laughs> Some liberal writer at the Huffington Post was excited to find out I've been talking to Wisconsinites about how enthusiastically the entertainment media spread a business is bad message. Is, really? Does he not have anything better to do before he goes on break? Apparently not. Apparently not. I hope Ron Johnson's out there picketing in front of the movie houses uh, during his time. He should be heading right now to Wisconsin to start picketing that stuff. Um, sort of shocking this guy is actually a senator, but... 